pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday, March the 7th. Time is 7 p.m. And the regular month meeting of the Greensburg City Council is called to order. At this time, please silence electronic devices. Roll call, Ashley. Mayor Dan Hamas. Yes. Brianna McKenzie. Here. Kevin Fleetwood. Here. Darren Covington. Here. Jamie Kane. Here. And Daryl Bowling. Here. Did everyone receive the minutes from last meeting? sewers and then also we're looking at 
upgrade the plant to do phosphorus removal. Uh, phosphorus right now is not in our permit, but on our next permit cycle, which will begin in 2019, phosphorus will be in there, and at that point in time, we will have to remove phosphorus from the uh, wastewater. Uh, I know 2019 seems like a long way out, but by the time you do engineering, you start construction, get through construction, get everything working, it'll be 2019. Uh, so what I did, the motor works, uh, and our original Honda kit that was formed back in 2006, 2007, uh, I had a balance of $695, 695106 $106.49. So what I asked them to do is uh, to use that money for engineering services and we'll take and we'll take that money that was from the original on the debt and the only place it could be reviewed according to the agreement was at the sewer plant for upgrades to the sewer plant so this will kind of good meet that criteria. In other words I can use it for engineering services. So instead of just letting that money sit and not be able to use it for anything else, I went there, went ahead and proved that I could use that money for engineering services. And basically, the time we get down with all the engineering services through the, through the entire project, uh, I'll spend that down to about $21,000. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any questions? Just the engineering services are going to be over $600,000? Yeah. And normally, the project's going to be about a total of about $7 million. Engineering services usually run anywhere from 15 to 20% of your total project cost. Yes. Okay. Next on the old business. Uh, on April 6th, 2015, uh, Southeastern Regional Planning uh, Group came and they applied, they were applying for a grant for the housing uh, to rehab in the area and you guys, we did usually do five or six homes a year. In the minutes it said that uh, they could do more, no more than $11,198 uh, after the grant was, was passed or given to us. Uh, our cost is $11,401. So we are about $203 short. But on July the 2nd, Mayor Gary Herbert said that we had the funds to pay that. And I didn't know if there was another set of minutes that I'm missing to say that other amount of the uh, $203. So I didn't know if we should uh, add that. Or does that? Um, Can we go back and add that? I'm trying to remember. I don't. I don't remember. What what fund did that come from? Um, I'm not sure what fund came out of it. But it's a grant that we, that we applied for, and, and the grant came back it was about two hundred three dollars more than what we originally uh, addressed on that that minute. I mean, if it was edit money, he could have done that on his own. Yeah. That's possible. I wonder if it was edit money. It might have been edit money, is what I do believe. Okay. Well, that, that's fine. I, I just wanted to make you guys aware of what's going on. Because uh, I can do that. That ain't a problem. But I just, I just want some direction. So was that a grant of work? Yes. We, does. we did get a grant. We will get five or six homes. I just, with the amount of money, I wanted to make sure uh, when I found out that I wasn't real sure. It kind of surprised me. Of course, I'm getting a lot of surprises. A couple months uh, stuff that I'm finding. So, bills that, you know, that, well, I thought been paid last year and it wasn't paid like this. And that's just one of those deals. So, when you got it through. So, those are kind of things that I surprised me. So, I will pay that out ahead of money, and we're okay. Right? Okay. It works. Uh, 
new business, Ron May. Good evening. You have before you this evening proposed ordinance number 2016-2, which is a proposed amendment to the City of Greensburg zoning map. The property in question is the property owned by the Decatur County Memorial Hospital and the Decatur County Hospital Association, I believe, are the two owners. Um, this all started a little while back when it became apparent that part of the hospital, uh, generally the south half of the property owned by the hospital, is zoned R2, and that includes actually some area where we had some construction going on in the last couple of years. Um, our zoning ordinance says that hospitals are to be in, I don't remember exactly, but B2 and B3 definitely work. I cannot remember about B1, and hospitals are not to be in our two districts. When the hospital became aware of this um, inconsistency, they petitioned the Planning Commission for rezoning, and in their regular meeting on February the 16th, the Planning Commission held a public hearing to consider the rezoning. It's generally everything south of First Street, if you extended it onto the east of Lincoln, is the area that's zoned R2. Uh, the Planning Commission did hold that hearing. Uh, Jamie and Kevin might help me out here. There was one or two questions that came up. Somebody wanted to know what plans the hospital had, and the answer to that was they don't really have any plans. They were just doing some what we might call housekeeping so that the zoning was in order when they got ready to do something with that property. The uh, Planning Commission concluded the hearing and recommended this ordinance to you on a vote of six to nothing. Correct. The only other comment I think that came up out of that meeting was one of the neighbors was concerned about maybe the greenery or landscaping behind their house, um, and there would be requirements for them to maintain something like that. Depending on not exactly all of that, but maybe like a shrubbery mm -hmm. or or something there was a discussion of a landscaping barrier <clears throat> right um, so there would be something there it wouldn't just be straight into a parking lot or building or questions this is to you this evening on first reading um, I guess you could suspend your rules if you care to and finish it tonight I don't think there's any hurry about it so it would be back assuming you pass it tonight would be back at your meeting next month for second and final meeting. Any more questions? Did I hear a motion to rezone the Decatur County Hospital Association's property uh, from a one to two family residential district to a B2 general business general business, uh, general business. So, uh, second. Okay, so motion is to uh, rezone uh, the B2 or R2 to a B2. So pass ordinance 2016-2, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. <coughs> Okay, uh, Steve Garrett, Chief Garrett. Good evening. Hi. I have a proposal that was made last year by at, uh, by the fire, previous fire chief, and he withdrew it no more than he made it. But anyway, I'd like to tell you what it is, give you a little history. I have forty-five hundred dollars in the budget for truck mechanics. When I started in January, I had one mechanic. So. The 4500 is three minutes, fifteen hundred dollars each. What I want to do is I want to change it to two men and my senior mechanic. I'd like to pay three thousand dollars, and my other mechanic I'd like to pay fifteen hundred. My senior mechanic will be training the mechanic that I just now accepted. When I took applications for a position, I had just two guys. They brought in applications. One of them had a little bit of experience. The other one didn't actually have any at all. So I am in front of you today to, for the senior mechanic to raise his pay to $3,000 a year, and the other one would be $1,500 a year. 
uh, the senior mechanic so far with some things that he does he saves like just a small part seventeen thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars and fifty cents that if we did not have him we would probably have to hire it done by another company so if his experience the wells pays for his salary of three thousand dollars the only other comment i'll make steve on that was that mike brought that up last year i think it was november maybe december he brought up the concept and wanted to do it and we we weren't comfortable changing that because he wanted to make it retroactive for the entire year and we didn't want to change we'd already set the budget in place for 15 and we we made the comment that he should bring that back at the beginning of the year and talk about it in january i think and so that's why you're here now right correct so the maintenance guys well earn their money by what they do for the city and save a lot of the i'm getting january put in the truck the mechanics are going to do it otherwise we'd have hired the company to do it it probably would cost us two or three thousand dollars just to do that so that is what i like to see done if it's possible the only question i have is typically you have a mechanic on each ship so what if you have an issue and it's on the off ship that you don't have a mechanic uh, not at this time i don't but the problem i have when i have a mechanic on three shifts is that I have one mechanic that probably don't know very much at all, so we're actually paying him to do nothing. So this way, the way I have it set up now, I have both mechanics on one shift. I will have him in training all this year, and then next year I'll split them up. So I'm hoping that this year will be a learning experience for my youngest mechanic, and it'll work out for us next year. motion to pay the uh, senior mechanic three thousand and the uh, call him back up. What do you call him? I call him the well. You can use the terminology you want to, but the new mechanic, <coughs> the junior mechanic, <coughs> or however you want to. I'll make that motion. Okay, I need a second. Second. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Second. 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 So we're. We're going to pay the senior mechanic three thousand and the mechanic fifteen hundred. Right. So we don't have a job description that will distinguish the two. Yes, our, uh, Dan has a copy of the mechanic's job description. We are in the process of rewriting all those. Okay. Or not rewriting, but <coughs> going through and, and updating, updating and, and bringing them up. So uh, I will be bringing that to you in a month or so once we get it done. So, but we will do one of each. That way we can distinguish which one. But yeah, we're right in the middle of that process. Uh, so, uh, so that's where we're at. So, so I have a motion and a second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Chief Bridges, Police Department. Just for that. I think I've only got one thing on the agenda. I wanted to introduce our new IST patrol officer. Uh, he is originally from Greensburg, grew up here, went to uh, Greensburg High School, Casey Jones. Uh, he was on North Vernon PD, so uh, he is a lateral transfer, and he'll be on FTO for a little bit, and then we'll get him turned loose uh, to assist us with everything. So that's all I got. And if you guys have any questions for the new officer, fire away. I was trying to put him on the spot. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Chief. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Um, Mark here, plus the camera. Okay. Um, uh, Ron and Mark will be going to road school uh, next two days at Lafayette. Uh, so, getting that ready. I kind of wanted to let you guys know that. Well, uh, thank you, Mark. Go ahead, Daryl. I guess. Go ahead. I was going to talk about the signs. I was going to talk about the signs. That we had a, a project for the signs that. They started last year and we got a grant for it. And we was about, uh, came in the other day and he, uh, 
Mark talked to me. And it was, the bid that they let loose was about 80000 more than what we had projected for the project. So uh, he got a hold of the NDOT and talked to some people and got a little bit more money for us. So we're back down to where we was at about 30000 These are all stop signs, uh, <coughs> speed limit signs. All of them will be replaced in the city, throughout the city. Uh, uh, brings them all up to date and to codes. But now, uh, so all, the, all those signs. Now, it doesn't take care of your, your street signs, but it just takes care of the, the, those. And it's like 280000 for the grant total. Right. And it also includes the installation of those. Our people will not right. install them. Yeah, they, they do all the install them. This is project to put some time in Well, we hope this summer, if, uh, we're supposed to be meeting with them in the next month or so. Is that right, Ron? Or what? Did, yeah. I better this, wrong, tell you. This is, this is federally funded through NDOT. It's uh, highway safety it's a highway safety improvement program or something, and it's for regulatory and warning signs. And the, the big issue with those is the loss of reflectivity of the face to where you really can't see some of these signs in the dark and headlights don't reflect the light. Um, the project was let last Wednesday, maybe, yeah. and um, it typically takes about six weeks from the letting until we have a, what we call a pre-construction conference and the contractor gets a notice to proceed from the state. This is a little like the Vandalia Road Project, if any were involved with that. We technically don't administer the contract, NDOT does. Um, the contractor works for the state and um, they will go around and replace all of the signs that are on the list to be replaced. And as Daryl points out, <coughs> is all the labor and everything. Um, basically, we come up with money. And this is pretty good money, if I remember correctly. It's 90% federally funded, 10% local. And that's as good a deal as you ever get. So um, I would say probably somewhere in the next two months, we'll start to see new signs around town. And I, we don't know what their schedule is. We'll find that out at the pre-construction pre conference. But I anticipate move along fairly quickly. They'll want to be pretty efficient because they get paid for the sign. Okay. I just want to let everybody know that Mark did an excellent job getting up some extra money. So we appreciate his help in doing that. Uh, Board of Works report, Mr. Bowling. Okay. Uh, Delta Theta Tall, uh, we approved road closings for their 5K run on April 16th. Chief Jarrett came uh, to the board asking for permission to discard uh, some equipment, dispose of uh, six computers, some fire hoses, uh, over 25 years old, and uh, actually the fire hose is going to be given to the Adams Fire Department. Um, and uh, then he also brought quotes for tires and for a generator for truck six, $2,019. Uh, was the winning bid for the Goodyear tires and then for the generators $9,800 to uh, Hoosier Power LLC for a Cummins generator. Uh, also ask that uh, we sign a title over for, um, what was that? A training trailer. Training trailer. To, uh, for sales. For sales has Got all, has the trailer, they have paid for everything for the trailer. We, for some reason, still have the title. We're just signing it over to them. Um, Chief Bridges came asking Board of Works uh, to dispose of uh, some equipment, uh, some computers, laptops, phone equipment, and a copier. We gave that approval. We also uh, gave the green light to hire two new officers and uh, we have three openings. We're hiring two now, possibly uh, one in uh, July. Chief Bridges also brought some promotions uh, to the Board of Works. Uh, probationary Officer Steve Hershberger was promoted to first class patrolman. Uh, Steve Barnes was promoted to investigator one, taking Bobby Zappi's uh, position, who resigned last year. 
uh, Michael McNeely, promoted to captain, uh, replacing Bill Myros, who resigned. And um, Wayne Davis, promoted to sergeant position, taking the position that was vacated by Michael McNeely. Um, Jeff Smith came and talked to us about what he talked to us about here a little bit ago. Uh, Mark talked to us, and then we had a workman's comp claim request to extend for six weeks, which we granted. That's all I've got to say about that. Awesome. Did a great job. Okay. Any comments, guys? Okay. Any comments from out, out there? Okay. Make, take the motion uh, to adjourn. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.